So in my opinion, this is one of the best three inch quadcopters that you can possibly purchase on the planet. One, efficiency, which means long flight time, power. It has speed on demand, which is great. A great camera. We're running a run cam micro in here, which is absolutely phenomenal. A great VTX, which is a video transmitter, beautiful and the sound. The sound is very, very important. And you're like, what do you mean sound? Well, the sound, I want it to be super quiet or as quiet as possible. And why do I want that? Well, the quieter it is, that means the more efficient it is. That means it's not really fighting through dirty air in order to keep or maintain its speed or attitude. So the quieter the quality is, that means the more efficient it is. It's just the complete mixture of all the components, the design and the layout just gives you an absolutely beautiful flying machine. And one more thing, durability. The plastic they're using is phenomenal. You have camera protection, which is also really great. This is really, really perfect for a beginner and even a seasoned veteran because it takes the best of everything. This is a premium beast here that's gonna be flying, which is hella durable. Now, as you can tell right here, this was not a small crash right here. I've been giving it to my friend who's just recently started learning how to fly, just fly acro. Uh, he's just jumping right into acro and he's been abusing the living crap out of this and it has been just holding up fine. Not even a bad bearing yet. So we've been using it for the past two weeks. This is all I've been handing down to him. And he is so much in love with it that he wants to purchase his own. Usually I would give him one if he wanted it. But this one I don't want to give away because I really, really like it. My next steps is to modify it to add some sort of HD recording capabilities with something like the Runcam 3. Now if you don't know what batteries to use for this. Uh, I'll have some link down below just in case you didn't know and also this antenna didn't come with it I'll have this one linked down below. It's a really cheap antenna But it'll give you better penetration It'll give you longer range and better video quality overall so you can hit those gaps that you want to now the components on here I have been doing long-term testing on not everything but the main main components that are usually the most expensive and the most difficult to work on especially if you're new which are the Mamba F405 stack. This is the 20 by 20 stack. You are more likely to burn a motor than the ESC here. And you're like, well, why is that so great? Well, one thing, the motor is obviously going to be cheaper. But another thing is if you're new and an ESC burns, you're going to have to learn how to resolder everything, which is which could be an absolute nightmare. And it can be very beneficial but more likely a nightmare. So if a motor burns, I'm not saying it's gonna burn, I'm just saying if a motor burns, you just have three wires to work with and a couple screws and you're done, which is really great. But in my opinion, that's what makes it so attractive, especially for beginners and even veterans, people who've been flying for a really long time. This is an absolutely great performing piece of technology. It checks every single box for every single type of flyer, whether you're a veteran, you want your performance, you want your speed, you want your efficiency, you want your durability. So if you're looking for the perfect beginner quad -car to learn how to fly acro or stable mode this is going to be the guy for you one you're not going to hurt anything you're not going to break anything and all, overall it's just going to run really great just buy a bunch of propellers that's all i'm going to tell you and uh, other than that you're going to be fine i mean if my friend couldn't wreck it i highly doubt a lot of people are going to be able to wreck it uh so new people to be exact and um yeah i'm just not ready to give this one up because it flies so great and it's so efficient and um that's something really good especially for beginners you want efficiency because you want to be in the air as much as possible simulators are great and i do highly recommend you start on a simulator uh you'll just reduce the overall cost on yourself but um you still want that real world experience and this is a really great way to get it and the batteries are not going to be that expensive either so you're going to be good in that perspective i have some batteries linked down below if you didn't know what kind of batteries go here and also this antenna which i highly recommend you replace but keep the first one on if you're still beginning just uh, until you ruin it or something and then you can replace it to one of these these are really cheap you can get a, get a couple of them if you're going to purchase some uh because you're more likely if you're new or not even new you'll probably break a couple and uh, it still happens to me to this day and it happens to a lot of people overall it's highly recommended go ahead and pick one up if you're thinking about it it's just basically ready made for you, you just need to add your receiver and um that's it just start flying it's, it's just that awesome and i'll leave it at that guys and i'll see you in the next one peace out